Amelia on this Tuesday edition of the Alex Jones Show. The biggest news in the world is not that Neil Young came out and called for censorship of Joe Rogan and threatened to have his music pulled off the platform unless the platform removed Joe Rogan and canceled their contract with him. But what is the biggest story is the fact that elitists like Young, In half a mile, who work for large corporations that have established this whole neoliberal Drive. corporate globalist system, really think that they can exercise their will, their power over the people of this planet. And that's what this whole system that is being brought forward against us is about. Destroying free will absolutely and completely. And the Neil Youngs and the Noam Chomskys and the Klaus Schwabs of the world want you locked in your house, starving to death, if you don't take the unlimited shots into your body that they want to put into you. But the rotting corpse that is Joe Biden is emblematic of the death of this globalist neoliberal empire. And it knows it's dying. Hollywood knows it's basically already dead. The big East Coast and West Coast blue cities have destroyed their once great states, and they know they're dead. And all they're trying to do with the Great Reset is to convince us to climb into their graves with them. Neil Young is a washed up joke. Neil Young is a fossil. Neil Young is a delusional, elderly, dementia ridden thug who believes that he can go to platforms like Spotify and terrorize them into taking off their number one draw via his threat. I'll make a prediction, even if Neil Young is able to get a consortium of so-called superstar artists to leave, Spotify isn't going to buckle. And it's because Spotify understands that the world's changed and that Hollywood is old and boring and hated, and so are all the old you know, so-called music stars, and that people want something new, and that the establishment and the UN and CNN and MSNBC and ABC and CBS are all a joke. But they're not just a joke. They represent the corporate globalists that, again, are enslaving humanity, bringing in a world ID, a world carbon tax, and trying to terrorize and bully anyone that doesn't submit to whatever their latest demands are. It's absolutely insane. So, Neil, I understand you're not an American. I understand you're Canadian. And, you know, Canada's a great country with great people. But if you like living in the equivalent of North Korea, you just stay up there and you keep rocking it there in your tyranny world. Because your own prime minister has said he admires the dictatorship of communist China. And they said he'd like to bring that to Canada. And that's where you are, buddy boy. So listen, if you've had your third, your fourth, your fifth, your sixth, your tenth shot, whatever it's up to now, Fauci says now you need four, Israel says you need six, then you're protected, right, scumbag? You're protected. You took all the shots. Oh, we're the bad ones. We're the ones that are anti-science. You now work for Big Pharma, Neil. Who knows? You probably took money from them. Lord knows nobody's coming to your concerts. And you've now signed on to the violation of the Nuremberg Code. You've now signed on to genocide. You've now signed on to the New World Order. So you could pretend in the 70s and 80s and things that you were this you know, big freedom lover, but now you'll be known as a fraud. But I'll tell you who won't be known as a fraud and who's not a fossil and who's been strong and who has been persecuted and attacked for telling the truth and whose music is about 10 times better than yours. We all know that's Eric Clapton. You see, he'll live on forever, long after his body's gone, and people will respect him and admire him. And long after Big Pharma and the tyranny of the early 21st century is defeated, he will be remembered as someone who was good and for the people. You'll be remembered as a joke. And as someone so manipulative and so stupid that you don't know that when I go on the Joe Rogan show, it's the second, third, and fourth largest shows he's ever done with a combined total views currently on the platforms of over 300 million views. One of the visits has a 100 plus million of those. You see, Neil, nobody's coming and 
listening and watching you that numbers even one tenth of that you can't stand that so you want to try to throw your weight at people like joe rogan and you're so damn foolish you don't even understand that you just made joe rogan and the truth even bigger because you don't get it because you were never really a rebel you were never really what you call rock and roll you were never really quote punk rock you were never cutting edge no you're a darling of the establishment and of the system and it's now completely bought up in your face so joe rogan will get bigger you will get smaller now all the media ganging up on me four years ago and calling for my deplatforming did hurt us but slowly but surely listeners and viewers understood it and by word of mouth they told folks alex jones still lives at infowars.com and freeworldnews.tv and now slowly but surely from being almost completely taken off the air we have grown back to close to the level we were four years ago and the persecution is only intensified we're now being debanked we're being sued we're being attacked but it doesn't matter we have the truth the people on our side so over time we're being proven right we're being vindicated people like you are being proven to be frauds you use words like joe rogan's not science fauci science when fauci's been proven to be a total and complete liar neil young has signed on the wrong side of history he's enraged that he can't censor and control things like we live in east germany and so now he has jumped the shark Neil Young is everything that's wrong with the world and people 